Okay, in this example, we want to write the formula for a function whose graph can be used to solve the following equation, uh, 3x squared minus 5x is equal to 2. So recall in one of our previous examples, we saw how the uh, graph of a function can be used to estimate the solutions uh, to an equation. And the trick there is to find uh, the formula for a function uh, whose uh, x-intercepts uh, are the same as the solutions uh, to the equation uh, that you're asked to solve. Now the way you can find such a function is um, very straightforward. All you have to do is take the equation uh, that you're asked to solve, in this case 3x squared minus 5x equal 2, and set that equation to 0. So I'm going to do that by um, subtracting 2 from both sides of this equation. So we get 3x squared minus 5x uh, minus 2 equals 0. And it turns out then uh, that if you use uh, the expression on the non-zero side of uh, the equation, in this case the left-hand side of this equation, as the formula for a function, then the x-intercepts of that function will be the same as the solutions um, to the equation. So uh, if we can find the x-intercepts uh, to the function, uh, I'm going to call the function g, um, 3x squared minus 5x minus 2, then we will have the solutions uh, to, our, to this equation, 3x squared minus 5x uh, minus 2 equals 0. And of course, this equation is equivalent, equivalent to the original equation that we were asked to solve, 3x squared uh, minus 5x equal 2. Uh, so it's this function g uh, that we can use uh, to solve um, our original equation, that is by finding the x-intercepts of this function g. And if we make a graph of this function g, then we can estimate those x-intercepts uh, by looking at the graph, and therefore we can estimate the solutions to our original equation by looking at the graph.